Welcome back to How to Be a Better DM. I'm your host, Justin Lewis, and this is the show to help dungeon masters who are confused, overworked, overburdened, and just want to have a fun time. Today we have an awesome show, and we're going to... Oh, no. No, not again. Oh, come on. I guess, I guess those alarms, that means that this is another podcast takeover. Okay, the alarms are going to go on. Okay, we can turn the alarms off. Thank you. So today's show is actually episode two of our new actual play podcast, Pact and Boon. And we're excited to bring this to you. Make sure you subscribe to Pact and Boon wherever great podcasts are heard or check out the YouTube channel, Pact and Boon. But without further ado, I'll give you today's episode. Hello and welcome back to episode two of the Pact and Boon. Um, we are a couple of nerds um, playing some Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Um, and this is an actual play podcast video stream of sorts. Um, coming to you on all platforms available. Check us out. Follow us. Share it with your friends. Share it with your mom. Share it with your grandma. And uh, make sure they follow us because they're going to love us. Or they'll think we're Satan worshippers. We go to... You know, <laughs> and they honestly, could also still love us though. Yeah. That's true. Depending on your okay. grandma, Satan worshiping is fitting because we are in hell. Okay, um, <laughs> we are love in the transition. <laughs> love it. <laughs> the world of Caligno's, um, in the plains of hell, the nine hells to be exact, and our party has found themselves for a variety of different reasons in prison in hell. Not a fun place to be, Mentiri. On the second layer of hell, Dis, before the seat of Dispater, in the Iron City of Dis, um, we find a group of unlikelies uh, trying their best to just not die. Um, around them is a prison of hot, hot metal and stone, where even standing still can be the cause of your own death. Um, surrounded by demons and devils, uh, they are different. Look it up. Um, the party is not yet a party. Um, three individuals living separate lives, trying to do their best to live, have had some certain happenstance inspire them to survive. A question was posed to the individuals, are you a survivor? By some sort of North Atlantic <laughs> semi-mafia voice as Jolly, an Earth Genasi brewer in a toilet um, in hell, has been making some mead when someone asked him if he was a survivor and if he had anything to survive for. Wolfgang, a dog of the doctors in the infirmary, um, after a run-in with a family relative, given the same question, posed to him if he had something worth surviving for. And then Elon, trying to help a truly abysmal creature um, as his only ally in the hells, a human man with odd proportions and having the head of an ant, Cyril, is just trying to not die. Um, being chased by a bearded devil was intercepted by a broker of hell. Um, an individual with some sort of arcane ability that ripped this bearded devil to shreds. Um, and then turned to Elon and asked the same, are you a survivor? So I'm writhing on the ground in pain still. Just got the air knocked out of me. So, yeah, I like to think so. We'll see what you can do. I have a patron who might be interested in buying. Um, and he opens a, a zipper in space. Um, and he's going to toss you a card and walk through it. Um, if you catch the card... It is a two of hearts. Love. Two of hearts. <laughs> um, 
And he disappears, the zipper immediately closing behind him, um, and he is gone. Okay, where is, uh, is it Krolax? Yes, Krolax is on the floor, having just seen this, um, and he's like scooted himself against the wall, truly horrified. Um, Krolax is a dretch, a demon from the abyss, um, a pig-like creature with teeth that have proven to be um, frightening, as they could easily cut through a hole in the cast iron floor um, that makes up the floor of the Mentiri. Um, and Krolax scoots himself back against the, the wall um, and he's just breathing. So I'm going to right myself and kind of sit up and I'm going to look at him just dead in the eyes and I'm going to say, I'm just going to... And then I'm going to help... Give me an intimidation up. check. Okay. That's a 24, and that is a 25, so 24. Incredible. <laughs> what even are your stats? Uh, Dude, they're, they're so... That's insane. No, no, no. He His lowest like ability is a 12. Crazy. Um, rolled very well. It's really impressive. That's bananas. Um, okay, yeah. Um, he defecates. Um, <laughs> he, oh. Does Gut see that and laugh? <laughs> Gut is busy cutting dudes in half mm. on the other side of the internment zone okay. in his rage. Um, so Gut doesn't care about anything. He's probably hearing like some Vivaldi in his head. Slice. Just swing, swing, and cutting dudes in half um, all over the place. Epic. Um, Cyril is unconscious. Um, actively making death saves. Um, I'm going to attempt to revive him or wake him up. So I'm going to kind of slap his face a little bit. Cyril. Okay. You can give me a medicine check at disadvantage. Oh, that's, that's cocked. Okay. That's a 13. And that's a 7. All right. Um, you are unable to stabilize him at this time. Okay. You can make another check. It's an 18, and that's a 5. Okay. Um, you get the sense that Cyril is going to die. You can make one last attempt. Oh, okay. I'm tearing up a little bit. Like, I've witnessed a few deaths at this point during my time in the hells, and so I'm going to, like... His flesh is also cooking. I'm going to... Is there... Can I make a perception check just to see what's around me really quick? Like, is the imp still watching? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Gosh. Um, so that is a 13. And that, so it's a 13. That was a 16. Um, yeah, it's much closer, too. Like, the imp is, like, crawled on the walls and along the lines, and, like, eyes are already, already buggy and black, right? Like, just jet black pools and and this is i know that this is a, like a guard in effect right or or no this is just no a creature no of this is like a prisoner as well oh. right so imps oh. can also be prisoners okay well in that case i'm going to cast press digitation and cool this the space underneath him so that his flesh stops burning okay smart okay uh you can make a medicine check flat is that cocked justin no. I don't think it is. See, the, the rule is if yeah. you can put a it's dice a on top, it's Ten. not cocked. But I mean, it, that's my rule. What's your rule, Jake? That's fair. I think that's, yeah. <laughs> Cyril will just kind of quiver in your hands as you're like trying to cool him off and like help him. Um, and his mandibles stop. Oh. And uh, he'll just say to you, that food was disgusting. And does he die or is he alive? <laughs> I'm like checking his pulse. I'm like, Cyril, are, are, you, are you with me? I'm I'm fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> oh my. So, I'm just like, like, exasperated and kind of just 
overjoyed that he's alive. So I'm laughing and kind of hugging him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's like, uh, uh, that food is not worth dying for. No, my friend. I'm glad that you have learned your lesson. Let's, let's, let's get out of here. I don't know if I did, man. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Just stay by me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jolly, you you see that this individual has kind of zippered himself. Yeah. Uh, destroyed the, with the bearded. With cards. With cards. Um, obliterating this bearded devil. Um, and you... Where does your attention seek? Where do you go? Um, well, I guess maybe would I have seen that he does, he, he, he like uses cards? I don't know if you would. It would have been just far enough Pretty away far. that like it looked yeah. like he was just like kind of casting magic. Um, I think I would see the sea elf and think that that person survived an onslaught from a bearded devil and now they are laughing hmm i think i should probably hitch my wagon to this horse and i would cast <laughs> blade board on myself Smart. stealthily if i could i need a sleight of hand check yes uh unless no. you're trying to catch the attention of brokers Bear in mind that there are 25 plus brokers with their eyes on this portion of Mentiri. Yeah. And I did not know that. I I actually wasn't listening when, I, when that happened. <laughs> you, you never noticed. Yeah, you wouldn't have oh, known. There you go. Um, you would, were more afraid of the you were guards. In character. Well, I mean, literally, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know. So, yeah. So, Caden's an idiot. But <laughs> <laughs> I was focusing on other things. Yeah, I will also is. cast cure wounds on myself, uh, which does not require material components, which okay. is awesome, um, and uh, just kind of like purple light just up my legs, up my arms, and then just kind of like woo, and and heal myself. Are you making a show of this, or are you just? I think Jolly is used to trying not to be like a player. Okay. Basically trying to get other people to focus elsewhere while he builds his his resources. So he's he's not necessarily hiding it, but he's he's like, I'm in my alcove. Um, you know, I'm fine. Uh and when when the eight plus four would be or do you roll the health? No, you do. Okay, yeah, so I'm rolling that separate. is healing eight hit points, by the way. Nice. Um, Let's see if we lose them. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. And then also Blade Ward. And then I'm like, okay, Jolly, all this is is just going down the hammocks. I mean, you're a big guy, but don't fall. It's, just not, it's not hard. Just, it shouldn't be. Yeah. Just do it. Go Don't let your a... dreams be it's dreams. It's simple. Come on. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> Acrobatics check. And difficulty class 12. 16. All right. Hey. With this advantage. Jolly, are you bringing your mead? Yeah, he's he's like packed everything up oh, somehow. Interesting. Okay. However, he would probably like like some other prisoners, like you, a dead prisoners. You could steal a hammock. Oh. Okay, yeah. To I, basically make like a knapsack. Yeah, definitely going to do that. Okay. Um, if someone finds this and that they find out that you stole their hammock. Okay, so I'm not going to do it right next to the alcove where I sleep. Okay. Right. I'm just be like, let's go over to somewhere else and take this guy's hammock. Um, and and, and I, honestly, maybe a hammock, but I was also thinking just like, like a dead prisoner's like smock or whatever they have and just like from that those go probably faster than gotcha hammocks, gotcha if i'm being honest okay uh yeah so definitely taking a hammock down um i would you know walk over towards the sea elf and this this bug guy and say hey can i ask what the what's so funny what joke are you laughing at <laughs> uh <laughs> friend <laughs> i'm just kidding i guess i don't know if you are yeah, you see like this guy with like just stuff 
Like you, I you sounded that. pretty jovial. Well, yeah, it's, Jolly's generally a jovial guy. I probably would call you friend then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my my cereal here uh, just about died, and I was able to revive him. Wow, that's not quite a joke, but uh, it's a little win. I suppose. Or maybe uh, a big win. Might I ask? Um, can can I see like if anyone's looking at us right now? Yeah, there's the dretch. Uh, over on the wall, who's like, <laughs> and there's like poop running down his leg, and he has pooped himself. <clears throat> and yeah, there's there's definitely people looking. Uh, a bearded devil was just eviscerated. One of the guard, the prison guards, was just turned into ash, basically. So do you know like what like what all was that? Like why did what what happened? Uh, well, this idiot, and I point to the dredge. Uh, Tried to attack my friend here, who's a little greedy with his food, and I kind of like smack his chest. He goes unconscious. <laughs> He's not making death saves, but he is unconscious. Okay. <laughs> Cooking on the asphalt. Yeah. Well, it's cool now for an hour. Uh, well, I think maybe we should. Uh, do you want to talk? Because uh, I saw this and I want to ask questions. Um, can I roll like an. Inside mm -hmm. check to see. Okay. You, Justin, give me a persuasion or deception. Your choice. Don't tell what. Okay. That first one was Oh, that 20, but I can't use it. The second was a 19 plus a lot. So. Unbelievable. Eight. You're reading pretty clear. Okay. And I hold out my hand because I'm still on the ground to be held up or help, helped up. Oh, um... Yeah, Jolly would do it, and I'd say, can I ask, uh, what what are you? Um, well, my heritage is that of a sea elf, but I've been diluted, you could say. <laughs> ah, so you're like half a halfsy? Something like that. Oh, and what about your uh, your pet, uh, your <laughs> friend? What is he? He is an anomaly, we'll say. Ah, I'm a cursed wretch. Can I, <laughs> can I roll a history check on, uh, well, can I like see what I know about sea elves in general? Yeah, history check. Cool. No, 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 natural one. You know, you know that like, ah, just like a wood elf yeah. or. So you must be like from the sea, right? Uh, close, I'm from the spiral isles. Do I know anything about that? Probably not. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Well, let's go find somewhere else because I think you're drawing a lot of attention. Uh, yes. And before I do that, I'm going to cast one more spell just because why not? And I'm going to try and snipe that imp up on the ceiling. Okay. With my fine with... familiar. Oh, interesting. You shoot at him. Gotcha. Okay. Should From... we give context or? Yeah. So we decided that... My find familiar is more like catching Pokemon, so. <laughs> As a, you know, warlock pact of the chain, got to have something to chain it to. Yes. Um, okay, so will you do a, a spell attack roll? Um, do you want me to do that? Yeah. Okay. Just straight and roll. I will roll to nat 20. Let's see if I nat 20. Well, that would be pretty impressive. Yeah. What about a natural eight? Pretty good. But... Um, yeah. What is what does your chain look like? Um, I imagine that it's not as much of a tether, but it's more of a persuasion. It's, okay. It's a it's a a bargain. Like, um, come work with me, and you will will have like a mutual mutually beneficial relationship it'll be mutualism hmm. um okay i'm gonna try and save against that power like you hit right yeah. like it is it is bound sure. um and we'll see the resistance for it what's your spell save dc 15 okay um you get a resistance to what you're trying to do um but that you have some purchase in okay. it. Um, and like a true binding is going to take 
a couple more efforts sure. of that, um, but that you you feel that you have enough to force subservience should you wish to do that. Okay, and this is the first time I've ever tried something like this, and it felt like an innate ability when I sensed that Ip's presence. Yeah, I think it felt like a. I don't know. We'll, we'll use a demon slayer reference, right? Where you see the thread and it like kind of goes tight mm -hmm. on it, right? Where like you see that there are, are possibilities yeah. that you could like tether yourself to. And this one you decided to pull taut, right? Yeah. And like, like I like to think of like a, a warlock pact of the chain that can like manipulate different familiars. Um, and it is kind of like that. Who do I choose? Right. Sure. Like, being charisma based, it is a willpower, a dominance um, that can be done a little bit more delicately, but it is a my willpower versus yours. Yeah, it's like I could use persuasion or I could use intimidation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, you feel that it's less of a bargain being struck and yeah. more of a I got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to follow him and I'm going to pick Cyril up. Okay, yep, you can sling him over your shoulder. Yeah, I do. Wolfgang, yes. what do you do? You're uh, in your so I have, corner. I have my card, mm -hmm. my four of diamonds. Mm -hmm. uh, spades. You said diamonds. Did I say diamonds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant spades. I'm sorry. Oh, four of spades. Okay. Yeah. It, wait, so Justin. Clubs. clubs. Three of clubs. clubs. Oh, spades. Two of hearts. Two of hearts. Okay. Yeah. So spades. Uh, I've got my four of spades, and the voice stopped talking. Mm hmm. Um, okay, so theoretically, the doctors and that group, including my brother, are in that other place. So I, I try and find that voice. I, I grab the card. I go into the doctor, like the primary infer area of the infirmary, and I look around. Anything? Uh, no. There's no nobody, no nothing. Okay, I run out the door and check down the the long hallway leading to it. Okay. Um. What kind of what are you feeling? What are you sensing in yourself as like there's there's a clear anxiety, but like where is it being rooted? Uh, it's desperation, desperation because I'm like uh, basically uh, Wolfgang had been acting, you know, playing uh, the subservient, you know, mutt for a bit uh, while he was in hell trying to get on the good side so he could make it easier for himself. But then he kind of gambled that all in the little T maneuver that he did, right? Mm -hmm. So his goal now is like, okay, any lifeline, you know? Sure. So desperation, and he's like, whoever can give me a freaking card out of middle midair, you know, uh, hopefully I can find them and they can help me, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Um, so as you're as you're like preparing to leave the infirmary um you spot that there are some surgical equipment okay uh as in like scalpels knives things like that i grab a couple um roll a d4 d4 okay that's that's fine that's easy uh and if i if i get four can i just like wreck just kidding. It's uh, I got three. Okay, um, you get two scalpels and a pair of surgical scissors. Nice, nice. All right, you okay. can pocket those items in whatever you would consider a pocket. Uh, yeah, I've got a little, you know, a little pocket -ioli. I've got two, but one of them has a hole in it. That's yeah, fine <laughs> for sure. Um, so yeah, I, I pocket them and then I run out into the hallway. And uh, is there any way that I could, like, track uh, the source of the voice? Obviously, it seemed kind of supernatural. It, it felt – so, one, I think this is a good indicator. You communicated with Darianth psychically. Yes. And you communicated with this entity psychically. So – It uh, was different. Yeah. In that you could see the source – with Darianth, yeah. you couldn't see the source on this. And should you have not seen Darianth, it's possible you wouldn't know it was him. Unless okay. by voice recognition alone. Right. Alluding to not really. Like it, it, it's it's kind of a, an effect. Okay. So then I try and like I just sit there and I'm like, 
Hello? Whoever is there, uh, can, can you help me? Please. Are you, are you in the hallway? Uh, yes. You two hear that. I mean, do we see anything? Or no. It's, it's just down the It's hallway? just like a, a German voice coming <laughs> from down a dark hallway. Uh, I've, I think I've met that guy before. And he's kind of weird. I mean, he was, <laughs> he was incredibly nosy, but also a bit friendly. I like friendly. Not unlike yourself, I think. Um, well, I suppose. I'm following you, so. Well, I don't know where I'm going. I the well, only let's place. Let's go that way. Okay. <laughs> like Jolly's really like I don't really know where we can talk besides my alcove, and I don't mm. want to take him there. Okay. Yeah, I mean there really isn't mm. right. Like you can kind of slink into this hallway, but like you are going to have people see you go in. Mm. It is going to be impossible to avoid that. Uh, but you can go into the hallway toward the infirmary, toward where you met this strange, you know, crypt yeah. keeper of sorts. Sure. Sounds great. He also seemed to have some sort of a job. So, like, maybe it would be good to talk to him and help him out. Maybe he could uh, give us a leg up, perhaps. You hear these individuals coming down the hall toward you, Wolfgang? Uh, so, it, it feels like, from Wolfgang's perspective, that, okay, these people are an answer to... He wasn't praying, but Give me to whatever it was. To whatever it was. And, and so he kind of he just like kind of like uh comes up to them and and then he's like, Hello, uh, are you the ones who who spoke to me? Did you give me this card? Uh no, but I I have a card like that as well, and I know where they came from. You know who who had the card? I, I, Jolly holds up his too, he's like uh, yes, and uh, I'm like, quick, touch them together. Can I, like, see it magically? <laughs> that would make sense. Uh, you could give me an Arcana check. I'm just going to shrug and do it, just because why not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one's not terrible. 15. Okay. Um, you don't get the sense that, like, there is a, a magical property to mm. this item, but... That's as far as that goes, right? You gotcha. know that there is magical nature of this in some okay. way, shape, or form, but not that it requires sure. another addition to it, but like that it can be activated in some way. Mm -hmm. You just don't know how. Did I know that that guy was a broker? Do I know what brokers are? He was are? wearing a broker's outfit. I, I know, but like... So we all are mm -hmm. familiar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're not unfamiliar with a broker. You just might not be interested in watching them from sure. above because they're not super common, but they're almost always there. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. um, Jolly will not put his card forward and he'll just like be like, I don't think I got your name. Uh, no, no, no. I, I got your oh, name. Okay. Yes. <laughs> your name. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm Elon. Elon. And you're... Uh, I'm you're... Cyril. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, pleased to meet you. Yeah, uh, uh, Jolly again, pleased to meet snores. you. Yeah. Uh, what was it that happened in your life where you are hesitant to put the card in the middle like the rest of us? I suppose that is sort of a fair question, but also a very weird one. Uh, okay. I'd, oh, uh, I, I, I apologize. Is it normal for you to find cards in the middle of the air or something? Okay, Fair I'll point. put it in. He puts it in. Form of broker. <laughs> no? Right? Okay. Maybe it, it was first a try. Maybe, maybe. Maybe try like shape of. Maybe that would Shape work. of broker? Yes? Give me a. Um, <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah. no, nothing happens, a right? Wonder you you kind of hold it for just a second, and like there's a almost a vibration to these cards when they are touching, um, but not like a something's happening, but like a I don't know magic item touching magic item type. Sure. Okay. This so I like I'm like weird. ah, it's hot. Oh wait, is that is everything? And then I, I pick it up again. And I'm like, so where's the guy that you you found? <laughs> well, he obliterated. Um, I forget if it's a demon or if it's a devil. A devil. devil. Um, he obliterated a devil that was about to murder me, and cool. And then he gave me this. Great. <laughs> and he disappeared. 
and Krolax lifts up a one of clubs. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I, is, and who is this friend? This is the guy that tried to attack Ciro. So uh, it, my aunt friend, my helpless you have aunt friend. Four, three. No, I have three. You have two. You have one. So are there more? It still smell like poop. No, yeah, I, he literally <laughs> just pooped himself. <laughs> He's a demon, like, so he doesn't uh, care. Uh, my, my friend, uh, would you like to add the card to the pile? <laughs> do you speak Abyssal? I speak, yes. I speak Infernal. Oh, wait, do I speak Abyssal? I do. I do. You do speak I Abyssal, do. so you could have understood Krolax this whole time. I, didn't, <laughs> I guess I didn't try. Yeah. My, my short-sightedness. He was Be distracted. Better. Okay. <laughs> it was biases that really got you. Um, I know. I'm a he racist. says, you just don't see it. <laughs> in a very refined abyssal dialect. Um, yes, I, I do not feel interested <laughs> in uh, procuring my card in that m means. And you all hear. <laughs> <laughs> um, you. you what? I don't want to. You don't want to be a part of what our group? Is that? Yes. Well, then why'd you come over here? Just to show you that you're not better than me. What is he I, saying? I disagree with you on that, but let me tell them what you're saying. You would. Yeah. Swine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of shake my head and a little take it back. And, and I, you know, I pass it along. He's... He's saying he doesn't want to join our group, so I asked him why he came over here, and he just wanted to point out that he's better than all of us. Are there possibly more people who have these cards? Also, what does it mean? Perhaps he's passing them around like candy or something. Have yes. you ever seen anything like this? Have I ever seen a broker appear out of the thin air, hand me a card, Eviscerate a bearded devil <laughs> and then zipper away into another dimension. Yes. Oh, and what is the purpose of the cards? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Why? And runs away. <laughs> okay, he says <laughs> he says he has seen something like this before and he just didn't want to tell us why. And then, uh, Catch me an inside check. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe you might tell him I have some I gold glow here. He mm -hmm. could drink. You might Five. bribe him. Yeah. It's a tough accent to read. Um, you want to try to. Well, just barter mention with him? to him yes, I, I have gold glow here. I can make more. Perhaps he would uh, trade information for a nice, refreshing drink. Sure. I'll call. He's running down the hall. I'll call after him. Wait. Yeah. No. <laughs> Would you like some? We have some drink. We can trade for information. Yeah. He immediate pivot. What sort of drink? I thought so. What's it called again? Uh, well, before you uh, you tell him. Uh, I would prefer this kind of keep it kept on the down low. So, like... I won't go any near you. Well, do, would you rather me shout it down the hallway so everybody hears? Yes. Oh. Your secrets mean nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's just being difficult. Okay, just, just hand me the bottle and I'll... No, it's, I'm not giving it to you. It's called Gold, gold Glow. Is that right? It, gold flow. Gold flow. Gold glow is what comes out after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, I mean, okay. I'm going to... Do I know what the name of this imp is? No. Okay, I'm going to call the imp. And I'm going to have it um, crawl on the ceiling above him and whisper, it's called gold flow. Interesting. Because I do want to keep it on the DL. And... Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you feel again that resistance, right? The imp is like walking on the top of the the tunnel that leads down here um, and like will like twitch a little bit as your voice is manifest out of its own mouth. 
Do we see that? Uh, yeah. Gold flow, you said, imp? Yes. Again, just like, yes. <laughs> um, in your voice, right? Um, hmm, I've never heard of that. Well, due to the lack of options, would you like a drink? I cannot validate that it is in fact a drink. I just need to remind you that's sure. what you're all hearing. <laughs> how how would you how would you like to validate that? By drinking it, of course. Can he have a sip? No, it's literally a shot. This is just a sip. I only have three. Can you take a sip? No, the... that would kill me. Oh. <laughs> this is only for devils and demons. <laughs> Does he understand common? <laughs> Uh, he, his eyes go wide and then he starts running away but he would have also heard the second part it's like it's just for devils and I just, don't know if he did hear that uh, it's just for devils it and will demons kill me. <laughs> All right. well, okay I would like what to what did you say to him why is he running away it was what you said apparently I wasn't talking to him I can't comment. Well, so is he still in the hallway He's like out of the hallway. Like you weren't super far into the hallway no. to begin with. So he is now in the internment zone. Dang. Well, that's great. Well, that's not great. Do we need one? Do like, do we need the one car? Should we chase him, guys? Or do... Well, we have to be careful chasing, but we should go after him. I think maybe we should figure out if anyone else has these cards. Do we just ask? I... I mean, do you guys know anybody else in here? Uh, I mean, I've had some dealings with God, who is the beard of the devil, but also some dealings with the, uh, let me pull up my notes here so I get their names right. Ah, uh, crap, it's not going to happen. It's those tiefling brothers that starts with a G. It's like Gathrax or Gathraz or, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, there's those two. Oh. One of them. I've, maybe both. I, I've never heard of them. Probably They're not. Pretty yeah. big deals. Yeah. Wolfgang's probably heard their names. Yes. Like and like you the names are like you know if you have their name, you know them. Kind of okay. you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you said with Jolly earlier. Like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh yes, I I, uh, I think they are a good option. Uh I only think that we must do this quickly. Uh because my my masters are maybe coming back with my bro brother and it's it's a whole thing but i i think that we need to leave and find the man with, with the cards and do something because i i can't stay here so dm question mm -hmm. if the imp flies is that like a violation of some kind of a rule no there's imps that kind of fly around okay. in here yeah i'm just gonna have him tag corlax very good. Um, he's a little bit more interested in that. Like, there's less resistance because it, it feels like getting away from you. Oh, great. Okay. Mm. How high are the theater booths of the brokers from my alcove? Um, probably 200 feet. Yep. Cool. Um, oh, never mind. I, I I have an idea. Let us go into the uh, the main area and look at the brokers and. And Elon, you can look and see if you uh, you recognize the broker with the cards, because I think I can get up there. Okay, that sounds like a great plan. I mean, how do we do that without being spotted by all these people? I, the, uh, if he gave us the cards, I I would imagine that uh, we have permission to approach it seems maybe. that we have been afforded some kind of a protection i i don't know about that this is these are the nine hills it's not like you this saw is... what happened yes but that is because he was protecting an investment it wasn't because we can just go and grab the cookies from the cookie jar i understand cookies. what you are saying <laughs> But <laughs> Jolly is going to definitely use a lot of food metaphors. Cyril, Cyril that's says, what he's thinking about cookies. 
<laughs> it passes back. The iPad is back. <laughs> it burps. <laughs> it's a little baby. It's a little spit up. <laughs> All that like flubber. I just, just kind of shake my head in a loving way. So, if I can ask, what is sort of your relation to this man? Uh, yeah. Only Zakad and no, not the... oh. <laughs> you. You keep doing that. I'm always talking to him. Okay, <laughs> to the to the like bug like creature. Um, you get the vibe that it's like a similar tether situation. Oh, to Cyril. Okay, there's just something about him. It it might be. I'm gonna like cover his ears. <laughs> He's he doesn't of... have ears. He's an ant. I'm, I'm, just, I'm still. You know what I mean. I'm yeah. like I'm like just covering where his ears should be, and I'm like he's kind of pitiful, and yeah. I appreciate his company. I resent that, but you're not untrue. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay, yes. So then we need to find the other cards. Maybe also get close to the broker. Look for him. Yes. It's a deck. You said... Break. Well, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking. You Good. said you got, you got the four, right? And then it was three, two. and then two and one. Fun. Uh... So maybe looking for five that might have happened before... And it was the you one of spades. There was also a one of clubs. Oh, one so of same clubs. Same suit okay. as what Jal uh, got. Okay. I, do we have time to look for uh, uh, how many cards? Are there? Uh, I suppose 50 time. something? Or? There are 52. 52? So while they're talking, I'm just going to like zone out and just go into the imp. Okay. Um, you see that Krolax is like going to his his buddies. Um, two of, the two of them are also demons, and so they are speaking in abyssal, and so it's just. <laughs> um, but you you hear that they're all very refined gentlemen. Okay. Um, I love that. <laughs> um, I <dare> say. <laughs> and so Krolax is like, oh, yes, I, these dreadful folks down below. Um, the bastard tripped me. <laughs> <laughs> And the, the two guys with him are like, Oh, yes, sir. How are you? <laughs> yes, I'm truly dreadful. Um, and Krolak says, Yes, I seem to be okay. Uh, truly, no skin off my teeth. <laughs> Isn't that right, old chap? <laughs> and they, you know, they'll chuckle and chortle together. Um, he says, But I, I do seem to re have received a boon. Perhaps it comes with a pact. <laughs> <laughs> they said the name. <laughs> um, and he he'll draw out his card, and the the two um, kind of take scholarly poses as they kind of observe it. And the one kind of looks around, um, and will kind of cast identify on mm. it. Uh, well, I guess you wouldn't know that it's casting Identify, but his eyes kind of flare a little white. Um, and he says, oh, yes. Um, <clears throat> are you sure that we are not being watched or pursued? Yes, I, I do believe we might be... Should I roll a stealth check or something? Yeah. Right. I don't know what imp stats are, but that's a seven. No. <laughs> I do... I dare say that we are being pursued. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps at a later date. The Council of the Gentlemen has been... They have a club completed. Uh, and they, they kind of disperse among the, the crowd and he like pockets it into like a skin flap that he has. So he like removes part of his flesh and puts the, the card in there. Nummy. So I'm going to kind of convey that that happened to you guys. Well, I sent my imp after Krolax, and it seems that uh, he has some friends, and, and I don't know, he showed him the card. They're going to discuss it at a later time. So I'll... Uh, uh, did the friend find out what it was uh, from, from what, what you observed? Can I roll like an arcana check? Yes, please. So that's a seven. And that is a twenty-three. So seven. Yeah. <laughs> so proud you of said that so rolls. confidently when it was all lies. Um you get the sense that so he cast something, but not entirely sure what. I mean, just intuitively it seemed that he 
cast some kind of a spell to... Maybe we are asking him what he learned, perhaps. Yes, I, I do know what he looks like. I'd be happy to Good. point him out. Uh, let us go make another friend, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you head into the internment zone? Oh, yeah. uh, maybe oh. we could go back to my place. And, well, I will meet up with you in a second. I want to put away all my stuff. I sort of thought I was like <laughs> leaving... <laughs> But I guess not. You have a place? No. <laughs> no. Give me a deception check. You roll in sight. I'm gonna. I'm telling you, this is a deception. <laughs> yes. And this is insight. Still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Ten. Eleven. Wow. No. I rolled a ten and I have a plus five. I mean, he's a new guy, right? Like you. No. Nope. You don't have a bead on his tells. Yeah. Well, and I thought he was friendly, so. I'm... Right. He seems like a jolly. Yes. Individual. Uh, I will meet you here in five hours. No, I'm kidding. Um, sorry, that was a reference to the movie. No. Uh, I will meet you here uh, in about five, maybe 20 minutes. I don't know how Depends long Depends on how long it takes you to fall. Well, well oh, I okay. have nowhere to be, so okay. I'm just going to uh, watch you. No, don't do that. <laughs> do you understand? See, I make this stuff, and the only way I can do that is if nobody knows where it is. Because I don't particularly trust you yet. I respect that. Wow, that I is... turn my back. <laughs> okay. That's... Cyril has eyes on. <laughs> and I know that. The whole time. <laughs> but you don't know that. Okay, well, I will make my way up and deposit all my stuff. I probably keep so like you can't a. Can't tell if he's. I mean, his eyes don't close. I guess. <laughs> I would probably keep like one drink of everything, just on in you. case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, getting up again, no issue. Okay. Uh, blade board. <laughs> uh, take six seconds to do that, and then I will descend with an eleven or a nine. Plus uh, acrobatics nine. <sighs> you take half. <gasps> oh, that's good. Ten reduced to five. Oh, thank goodness. Would that have put you down? No, but it is sucky. Okay, when I hear him fall. <laughs> yeah, Cyril yeah. oh. yeah, zero, zero says. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I, I, I run over and ask, are you okay? Ah, uh, yes, I'm fine. Call me the winter's fool every time. <laughs> and just like... You're the winter's fool? No, that's... It's an idiom. Let's go before I make a bigger show and display for everyone to laugh at. Wolfgang, where are you? Uh, I'm just... Uh, I am... I'm along for the ride right now. Yeah, I don't... I don't much care. I'm actually just like kind of glancing back at the passage yeah. where I came from because I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm like, okay, okay, hurry, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Can I sense that? Is that like, I mean, because I was standing next to you for the five whole time. minutes. Yeah. Give me an insight. You can give me a persuasion or deception. I, I'm not trying to hide it. Oh, okay. I'm just kind of yeah. like tapping yeah. my foot. Yeah. Plain as day, this dude is a stress case. <laughs> so maybe before I run over to you, I'm going to ask. You okay? Oh, what made you think that? Is Probably it the first time? Is it the sweat on my brow, or yes, I'm not okay. I'm scared, <laughs> and it is. It will be okay. I know that we're in the nine hells, and this is awful. But you seem a little more tense. Yes, I. I don't know how you survived this far, but for me, it was being on the good side and being the good boy. But it is not possible now so i let me only say that this is a new experience and i do not know how to deal emotionally with it been here for like a week right yeah okay so i'm like <laughs> survival's hard here yeah because i, I had a, an amazing strategy before but now it is kaput but i i have friends and you, you will help me yes 
We got you back, man. <laughs> Cyril. Good, good. It was uh, your response got me scared because it was it was quiet from you, but then this guy, this friend over here, wow, love it, loves the positivity. You know me, I'm, I'm Cyril, and I'm a friend to everyone. Yes, you are, Cyril. You're a good guy. Good Cyril. guy. Cyril. <laughs> botches his name. Yeah. Well. Cereal. I, I could eat all, all of you in the morning. Great. Oh, th- nah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Cereal. Never gets old. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, then Jolly Falls. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hanging, like, catching himself on hammocks on his way down and then mm. colliding with the ground. Um, I, I would say some... I had an idea. Perhaps we could identify some sort of common factor in all of the situations in which we received the card. What were you doing when you received the card? Oh, I was uh, cowering in my bed <laughs> after making a fool of myself. Why? Why you ask? After making a fool of yourself. What do you mean yes. by that? As in I tried to put my best foot forward and it blew up in my face. I, I was giving tea to some guests. <laughs> oh. uh, what were you doing? No, I saw. Was that perhaps were you giving was, a cake to someone? I was being quite heroic, I think. Uh, so it was the cake. He okay. saved my life. <laughs> wow! I was sort of just watching and thinking, trying to make a decision. Perhaps my line of reasoning was flawed. Maybe we just continue forward. What were you thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? Uh, well, I just uh, sort of... I noticed the uh, increased numbers of brokers. Have you noticed? There are many more. They're like quintupled, perhaps. Quintupled? Yeah. Or, uh, can normally I, there's like three, but now there's like 25. Since he pointed out, it's probably easy for me to see him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, plenty. Oh, day. wow. Lots of brokers. Uh, is it party, holiday, something like that? Perhaps it's a close-out sale. Close-out sale on you? us? On the people here? That is not good. We need to get out of here. Oh, no. How much am I discounted? I mean, but oh. you want to leave because what happens with what they don't sell, they just throw it away. They throw it away. Everything must go. Mm. Exactly. Yes. Do you think that our numbers are a rank? I mean, and that perhaps. I'm second in line, or maybe the higher the number because so, no. you are doing something way cooler than me. You fell and moved out of the way. I fell and not. Out but of you the were way. looking very hard at things. With your eyes. I'm sure that counts for something. Yes? Well, let's go find that dredge. Okay, we need answers. All right. Um, As you are milling about and trying to find Krolax, who has become very difficult to find, um, no perception check necessary. It feels like he is gone. Right. Um, What about his buddies? Piggy friends. Give me perception checks on those guys. Can I do investigation? I mean, I, specifically I don't know what they looking. Look like. um, I'll give you a okay. description if there if okay. there's an adequate description. <laughs> yeah, oh, so they're seventeen. Maybe? Yet. They're all dretches. So no. they're all the piggies, right? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Is there like a unique identifier of the one that? Did the, the spell? Sure. Yeah. Um, this one has a um, monocle. <laughs> no, uh, but there is a crease on his eye where a monocle would have been. Okay. <laughs> okay. Love it. <laughs> I'm like, ah, it's a monocle. I, I only rolled a seven, so I, I got a 17. I got a nine. Wonderful. Um, so, Elon, you're the freshest, right? Yeah. You, you came in with probably like the last batch of prisoners. So you are the most fresh, right? Um, you are equally exhausted, but... It feels less so, My right? Brain. Like you see yeah. Yeah. that they are <clears throat> more beleaguered, right? Um, and you you spot um, a dretch just kind of you like using his bottom maw to like scrape out a hole in the wall. Mm. Um, it's that one. I don't know how you guys want to go about it, but 
We could just try asking. I could just try asking. Okay. I, I cannot speak to them, so... Um, <clears throat> would I know this guy? No. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I... Yeah, go for it. So I'm going to walk up. He's humming like a, 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 a tune um, that sounds like uh, guitar strings rubbing on each other. Mm -hmm. Like, just like a... <laughs> um, but he seems to be enjoying it. Okay, um, so I'm going to walk up to the side of him so that he can see me. Okay. I don't want to surprise him. And I say, old boy, what are you doing? Uh, well, Dredge, I require information. And, and you, elf, will have none of it. Why? You haven't even heard my proposal. Well, I, I, I don't particularly like being called my race. What? I, I don't know how else to identify you. It wasn't an insult. Clearly it was. What is, I what, am is your, okay. what is your name? I'm sorry. Much better, boy. Learn manners. My name is Drolax. <laughs> uh, Drolax, uh, very nice to meet you. I, I'm Elon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Have you heard about the cards? No. I know you have. Okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> you found me out. <laughs> if you can provide me with information, I may be able to get you a nice drink. It's pretty much all the bargaining power I possess, I say in common. <clears throat> yes, well, I understood that as well. <laughs> He's, he, he knows, like, lots of languages, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. He says, like... These guys probably speak multiple languages, okay. right? Like <laughs> they're, they're very intelligent. Yes, um, <laughs> but in like a, a particular, he went range. to Yale. Um, <laughs> I distracted myself. What did you say? I, I basically just said, you know, if you can provide me with good information. Ah, yes. yes. Um, drink. I am quite parched, as we all are. Yes, well, me more than you, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am all things more than you. Uh, definitely. Continue your pitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I really am just playing along, you know. Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, I know something of these cards, but I won't reveal it unless I have this cotton mouth. I say <laughs> removed. Uh, okay, I'm going to look at Jolly. Oh, we're there? I thought he like went ahead I did, of us. like I'm looking over at you. Oh. And I'm probably just gonna Jolly gives a thumbs up <laughs> not really knowing like <laughs> yeah. what's that signal? Like <laughs> Oh, you want me to come over there? Said, okay. Uh, yeah, and I follow at some at like fifteen feet away. Are you still carrying Cyril? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Cyril's like over your shoulder, just listening. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Jolly. In order to get information, we're going to have to provide something up front, and I am happy to make it up to you somehow in the future. Hmm. Something up front. Well. Uh, this is something I mean a drink. Yes. From you. No, but the... Um, yes, well. Dang, I'm trying not to meta game. Uh, I, well, see. How about I show him the drink? And then he can make his choice. So I'll pull out like a cup of cheap ale. Drolax. Here is what we have to offer. Um, give us... What is the vintage? The vintage... I roll my eyes. <laughs> I don't say anything. What is the vintage? The vintage? This, the, there is no vintage. It was brewed here. By, it was brewed yesterday. It was brewed yesterday. It's likely swill. My refined palate deserves better. It does, but 
Where are you going to get better? I can't. And he lets out a tear that sizzles immediately. <laughs> um, Drolax, I'm perfectly happy to give this to you. Um, I need I need to know that you do know something, though, before I do. I studied in the abyss in the arcane college of <laughs> where we <laughs> and you guys actually hear in common yeah <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just I heard that one winter <laughs> um, I am a clairvoyant savant naturally I didn't see me ending up here <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, yeah, I know what it is. Okay, um, he says he's a clairvoyance savant, and that he's. Can I think about what does that mean? Can particularly? I do an inside yeah. check? Uh, inside, if you want, uh, Arcana for you, Jolly. Cool. Sounds like. Seven. Mm. I'm a clairvoyance. Is a school of magic. <laughs> Cool. I have no idea. So you believe? Sounds like he does magic. I I believe yes, that he, he is. magic good. He magic's good. Yes. It seems that he's telling the truth. Okay. So we should just give it a shot. But uh, like, how valuable is this to you? I mean, it's really hard to get in here. I have to like be friends with God, and sometimes that's kind of scary because he's God not has a... stopped killing. Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, he's See? taking the cart and so, he's like, like, so like I, I there's just like over <coughs> dead <guy>. bodies. <laughs> oh, I put over and say, look, he's calm now. He's fine. That's the it's not such a bad friend. Diarrhea on everybody. <laughs> yes, that was. <laughs> well, <laughs> it is easy to be friends with someone for benefits. So uh, just give us an ale now, and we get more later. So yeah? you are saying that I am friends with benefits with God. It, I. In a way, yes. Just here, take the ale. Okay. It's okay. Good. Um, he, in a single gulp, just <laughs> sucks that thing down. How was it, Drillax? <sighs> Will you come close that I may whisper in your ear? I'm going to make the ale to it. <laughs> <laughs> It really doesn't want to. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like flapping, like trying to fly against its own wings as it's like being drawn closer to the, the mouth of this dretch. As it opens, there's like the spittle between its teeth. Um, and, and its breath is like steamy. Um, as it says... I don't think I've ever had a better cup of anything in my life. Wow, I'm going to tell you that. Huh. This toilet swill will be a reason that I live for a long, long time. He says it's going to make him live longer. I mean, it's alcohol. It shouldn't really do that, but... Uh, okay. Great. Well, I assume you'll be forthcoming with your information. Yes, the card is a magical item. Um, it is um, not indicative of the uh, number, sort of. The number and the suit have meaning, though they do not wear yet, I'll say. It's more of a, an arcane invitation mm. of sorts. Go, keep going. This invitation is uh, also inhibiting in the way that it can be interpreted magically. How do we go about accepting this invitation? I dare say you have, yeah. right? It's in your hand. Where's Krolax? 
My idiot sister is <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> 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 Well, I dare say. <laughs> I thought his chest was abnormally large. That busty broad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, say what you said. <laughs> Where? She? Elsewhere. I don't know. Um, and so, I'm guessing you're relaying all yes, this. Yes. Although... You probably speak common, so like I might not understand, but well, like after I tell you guys what, yeah, yeah, uh, so uh, <laughs> uh, that's all I got from that. <laughs> wow. So, in order to use these cards, is it necessary to find your lovely sister, or can we do this just us with the card and the broker, or is, is, what? If I'm being perfectly frank, I do not believe that uh, my wretch of a sister is, is, is any role in your acceptance of the invitation. In fact, I don't know if um, they matter at all. Uh, so we are considered individually? Yes. Rather than together. Okay. Uh, and how do, we, how do we accept this? That I was inhibited in understanding. Ah, uh, I, okay, so you are only so smart up to a point. I understand. Okay, hey. good. <laughs> hey. your, your directness is uh, refreshing until it is soured. Yes, I am sorry. It is uh, where I come from. We say uh, do not uh, step around the issue because it's a bad thing. Is it, we aren't very good at saying <laughs> 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 Hmm. Those kinds of sayings and idioms are bad. <laughs> yes, we also have that saying as well. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> but anyway, be off. I'm eating. Well, one second. Are the suits maybe indicative of the broker that has selected us? Oh, that is a good question. It was not revealed to me. However, there might be something to that. Okay. Uh, I will offer him another th a cup of ale and say, to our uh, continued collaboration. I will take that. <laughs> Happily. Yes. <laughs> Single gulp. Perfect. This was much less good. Now that I've had it a second time. Okay, well, <laughs> when you get thirsty again, you know where to find me. And, I don't. Uh, Okay, well, you can look. I'm not telling you. You'll you'll see one of the three of us, and that's how you'll know. That's all that, fair. <laughs> <laughs> you do stand out like sore big toes. Yeah, being kind of blue will do that. Also, yeah. aren't lemurs like, like yeah, half, still everywhere? Just, there's uh, like well, aren't they just like half our size? Yeah. So we're just like the only people actually walking around. <laughs> yeah. It's like the teacher in like kindergarten at nap time. It's like. Them. Well, I guess, yeah. yeah there's like, like some tieflings and like some of the elemental type creatures yeah. are, are like big. But like even the dretches, right? They're like three and a half, four feet tall, right? So even Wolfgang is a foot and a half taller than <laughs> most other things. Hey, five foot six isn't bad. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Calm down. <laughs> I feel validated. I'm just a freaking giant. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, that's a Yes. Good call. Up. Also, I was thinking, uh, can we step away from the dredge? Yes, uh, he's going to go back to keep eating the wall. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> enjoy your meal, friend. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Is he digging a tunnel out? Is I, that we possible? <laughs> <laughs> Not your friend. <laughs> ah, that's a shame. And I say to you guys, if he had been a friend, maybe we could do some sort of grind escape type scenario. But see? I don't see that happening. Uh, so, so maybe we just have to find... Uh, the broker, uh, can, uh, Elon, do you see him up in the balconies anywhere? Um, I assume that it's too high for me just to, like, see faces. So I'm going to have the imp fly up. Let me check. Okay. Oh, nice. Um, the imp will, will fly up, but it feels a resistance, um, like once a it reaches level. a certain 
distance that like getting up further like it's about a hundred feet above okay. the floor that it feels um and how far away are the brokers like another 150 oh, okay. 200 feet yeah Oh, so it's like 200 feet up? Yeah. Like, or more? Wow. Yeah, there's some kind of a resistance that's keeping me from going farther. Okay. Um, As you begin kind of sidling up to your thoughts and um, sorting out, like, that interaction and, uh, you know, the baggage that was just uh, revealed in Krolax's gender reveal, um, (laughs) we, you, you hear a... It's more like a hearing, mm. and then you feel it on the ground below. Um, as f- from the wall, um, a sort of platform extends over the internment zone, um, and a monstrous pit fiend um, is standing on top of this platform. Um, the pit fiend... raises a like i don't know sort of wand um to its mouth and begins to roar out uh orders um does anyone speak infernal i do all right um so you hear jolly and uh elon a sort of like parcel tongue-esque like hissing and spitting but also kind of sounds like flames in the back of the throat um, as the pit fiend is, you know, blood red, giant wings. It's got a, a monstrous club in one hand, <clears throat> horns that kind of come up and back in true devilish form. Um, and it roars out, you have been called to fight. Wait, is he talking to us? Just generally. General, okay. I wait for the next. I'm assuming he's not waiting for a response. Right? See me in the pit if you wish to get noticed. I relay that to them. I'm like, guys, this might be a moment. A lot of the fiends and like true devils begin to hoop and holler and like get excited almost like you've walked into like a monkey cage right mm-hmm. just like a, like an excitement and an, and an tension um as like even the lemurs are like like getting like riled up <laughs> and even though you don't understand it there is like a almost like you are being like inspired of sorts to fight i need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw you can choose to fail it that is a dirty 20 and a 19 uh 17 uh a a dirty one dirty one this is not disadvantage it's just on checks oh it's well, my first one, Your was first one was a one. A two. Oh, okay. and I have a minus one wisdom. So, uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's awesome, man. I, I, freaking... I really love that for you. Dude. Um, you feel like your heart rate go up and your blood pressure spike. You've had, I'm going to guess, a heart attack at some point in your life that was like a, oh, and then like it's going again. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if Jolly would have had that because he's, he's generally been like a pretty, but he's. He's definitely had moments where it's just like, oh, whoa, kind of an idea. Yeah. You get that. Yeah. That kind of a, you feel your consciousness almost start to slip a little bit as yeah. like this pain in your chest comes. Um, and then it is immediately replaced with like a excitement mm. and your adrenaline spikes. What'd you get? Uh, I got a 17. Okay. 30, 20. Do you fight off this urge? Uh, I, I do. Yeah, I do too. Okay. You, you feel around you, this tension start to rise and well up. Um, and people start making a break for the pit. Mm. You see Jolly just like, I think this is where my time has come. Ah! Uh, do we see Krolax? You do. She's making her way. I, I think we have to either stop Jolly or join him. Ah, 
okay, I guess we go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Cyril has hopped off your back and he's taken off. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess <laughs> <laughs> that made my decision. The choice is uh, the choice is uh, not well, he's, like, he's like skipping, like a like a little happy. He'll even jump up and do like a little heel click. <laughs> he's like, oh boy, <laughs> this is so fun. I'm I'm really excited for this. Is like, this Pinocchio? Like he's just like gone to that one island and been turned into a donkey. Yeah, That's, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're following <laughs> yeah we're, we're going with them so uh, i'm like and i'm pretty quick so like i like catch up to jolly i'm like hey so what's what's the plan here uh the plan is to go and fight and uh, uh maybe we'll figure it out when we get that i don't know do we feel the cards changing as we're entering the pit um what do you mean? So before you said they're kind of humming with some kind of arcane when, energy. When they were touching each other, right? Like oh. so, like the the magical items have mm. like a. It's like two feel. phones vibrating tuned, on each other, right? Yeah. Like okay. Like they're attuned to a specific uh, wavelength, sure. right? When they're co colliding, it's more noticeable. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you like? Do you have your card out? Like, what's? Yeah, I'd probably pull it out as I'm running, just to like see if there's any kind of a change. You know, okay. If, if I'm feeling the arcane energy being pulled towards this. Yeah, not not anything like that that you you can pick up on. Okay. Um, as you are heading down the hallway that leads to the the pit, mm -hmm. um, the the floor turns to like an obsidian, almost like a glass texture. Um, and that texture is like very firm the closer it is to the internment zone and then it turns to sand it um, as it goes hot? away. It gets cooler mm. um, as you leave the internment zone and head toward the pit. Um, this area has, is normally closed off by a giant iron door that glows red hot at all times. Um, but this door has also fallen down. Um, you get the sense that it's like a kind of a deal, right? Um, and as you head in, there's like the sand and it is cool. Um, none of you have shoes. Um, and so the, the cool sand in your toes is incredible. Um, Jolly, this, I need a I think, wisdom save at disadvantage. Okay. I think also Jolly, Going to, whoa, 15, uh, 14 on both. Okay. Um, oh, still fail. Um, <laughs> this, like, is more exciting. Yeah, Jolly would immediately, like, like almost dive into the sand and, like, do a snow angel and just be like, yes, this is, this is, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> for context, uh, an earth genasi is made out of stone, so it's effectively like swimming in a pool of human blood for humans. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, but it's a funny image. <laughs> so, uh, are we like in a coliseum type setting? Like, for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, as you enter the pit, um, it is a perfectly circular... <laughs> room. Um, the walls are made out of this obsidian, um, but they are perfectly smooth obsidian. So there is intentionally no handhold or any way to climb up the walls. Um, the, the sand is fairly thin. Um, there's like a quarter inch of the sand across uh, the floor. And so there is like a, a, a dampening effect. Um, but the, the floor itself is firm underneath it. Um, at the center is a, um, like an iron chest. Um, the chest has chains and it's shackled closed. <clears throat> and around the top, um, you see that the majority of the brokers are filtering in to a, a new upper veranda, um, above the pit. Um, the pit fiend is a on top of the the pit overneath over over it um flapping his wings flying above um kind of chuckling to himself like looking very happy okay i'm just i'm i'm looking around i'm guessing most of the people have filtered in yeah. yeah um i like to imagine that you guys are kind of on the tail end of things yes. as like you know jolly's probably up 
near the front as you're like going to catch up with him. Yeah. Um, but there are like a lot of the lemurs aren't fast enough to like make it in, and so like as you're passing them, they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like sad that they're like recognizing they're not going to be able to get into this fight um, as if they do anything. Um, I there, guess blob. But there are a couple of lemurs in here still. <laughs> you know, like they're just covered in sand. Like their their te- their skin is like kind of a wet, mm. you know, fluffy, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and so they are like just covered in the sand already, pretty immediately. There's a couple of tieflings in there. All three of the dretches are in the uh, the pit. Mm. Um, there's a couple of fire elementals, uh, one or two earth elementals, um, and so it's kind of a broad array. Um, and then there's this chest in the middle. Um, the pit fiend, um, I, he uh, kind of roars down again. Get across the side. Link and they start up. going kind of Lighting to the it. walls. Yeah. Okay. The side. <clears throat> so we, uh, I go right next to Jolly. And I'm next to them. Yeah. I'm okay. going to have ah, the imp. Are you guys ready for shoulder. this? <sighs> is, is it cereal here? I need my bowl of cereal. Give me a perception check now. <laughs> I failed. I've got a look too. Um, that was a five. You rolled a three and then I rolled a two. So. I, I was like, that's seven. Yeah. Um, you actually can't see cereal. In Gosh. Here. How does that feel? Uh, pretty bad. <laughs> feel Feel like I just lost my si- my little sibling yeah. or something. He was so excited coming in here, you know. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Just in the horde, I just like lost track of him, and also trying to see Jolly and trying to stick with them, because yeah. I admittedly feel a little bit more safe with competent people. Uh, the pit fiend yells out, "Order!" And everyone kind of like calms down a little bit, and you feel your your blood mm-hmm. start to cool off a little bit. Um, not to a point where like I'm not invested in this. I'm just like I am obedient. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see. I'm curious. Um, one of the tieflings um doesn't calm down. He's like pretty excited still. Um, and. <laughs> It's like, yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys! <laughs> we're gonna fight! Dude. Dude, we're gonna forget! Like, dude. <laughs> and like this little more next to him is like, <laughs> dude, we're gonna forget! Rex, dude! Um, and a mace just falls from above and just smashes this dude to smithereens. Um, and the Lamour is like, uh, <laughs> order. Um, and everyone else kind of simmers down a little bit as the mace kind of levitates back into his hand. Um, it's just like his legs and arms are remaining. The rest is like this paste underneath the, the and like, mace. In like the splat, it just says like, dude. <laughs> it's like a, a finger like twitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Rock on. Rock on. Um, and uh, the the chest begins to glow um, like red hot as some of the the um, chains that are binding it closed start to heat up um, and some of them start to splinter and crack um, until the chains fully melt and break um, and shatter in some cases falling to the ground um and the the top of the box it's a perfect box um the top opens up and then falls to the ground as the other pieces of the box open in turn um revealing a a treasure hoard of uh weapons like a weapons cache Mm. um there's clubs there's maces um there's some flails um an occasional crossbow um, some short swords, daggers, um, tridents, some shields, um, and uh, that's what you see. Give me a perception check, if you will. Um, if you're looking for any particular type of equipment, or if you're looking for reactions, yes. who's the one? I got a okay. dirty twenty and then a twenty. 
That's okay. my third one. So today. still a disadvantage. Jeez, I got so cool. an eight. An eight. I'm looking for a bow. Yeah. Um, you you get the sense that there are bows in yeah. there. Uh, what was what? Are you looking for anything? I mean, Jolly would at this point probably be. He would have wanted armor, but like, it's like oh, it's a bunch of weapons. Great. You see a shield. Shield is good. Dirty 20, what are you looking for? I trained with a trident <clears throat> as just like an ancestral martial art. So maybe never like practically, but that'd be yeah. what I'm most comfortable well, with. There's one that's pretty close okay. to you. Um, and uh, you you know that there's a bow in there. You know that there's a shield in there. Um, I'm going to need as a gong rings out jolly your heart rate spikes mm. um as you are pushed into battle um i needed everybody to roll initiative um jolly you'll have yours at advantage oh that is is just sweet. straight roll straight roll okay 18 not bad okay advantage didn't help but uh, nice. i got a 20 i get an advantage uh, on the initiative not advantage but of course I get a you plus do two. of I get course you do two. Don't worry, my ability to use leather workers' tools will come in handy. I believe this. Probably not here. Elon, what'd you get? 12. 12. Also, my inventory of fishing tackle and mess kit, definitely integral to this fight, even though I don't have those. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, first act Wolfgang. Okay, so since it's my first turn, uh, I have 45 uh, feet of movement. Yeah. Uh, how far away is this again? So you're probably about 15 feet from this box. Well, that's Wunderbar. So I'm going to... And how high up are the walls on, uh, on like the sides of the Colosseum? Yeah, you get the sense that it's probably 100, 150 feet up. Okay. Interesting. Um, so I would like to run. Okay. Uh, I go 15 feet. And can I find a bow and arrows? Give me an investigation check. Okay, let's do this. Right, Hunger Games. Yeah, this is basically Hunger Games. Come on, Hello. please. Oh, <laughs> God dang, that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Heaven help me. <laughs> you grab a string thing and it's a harp. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> do I have... A... So with that an action? Or a it's bonus free. Action? free. free. You could use your action to then search again. I would like to do that. Okay. Let's get some tunes. Okay. Some tunes? Dun, 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 you want some tunes? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I want some tunes. I want some tunes? I want some tunes! Like cartoons or, or like car tunes. Okay, investigation. 14. Sorry. Um, you find a short bow. Great. And three arrows. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, so that was my action. Mm -hmm. I did 15 feet. I have another 30. I'd like to go back to the wall and spider climb up 15 feet. You do so. Yes. Uh, what does that look like to other people? As... It looks real. Uh, what's the, you know the type of ghost that you that's in the grudge, like the movie? Sure. There's like a name for it. I forget what it is. Like the Korean yeah. ghost thing. And like as soon as he gets to the wall, it looks kind of like, you know? Yeah. And then like <laughs> once he's like 15 feet up, he kind of uh, like flips around. You know, puts his back to it with his legs kind of underneath him, and and then he would usually have shot, but he used his action. So what he's going to do is he's going to cast a a spell as a bonus action mm -hmm. uh, called Zephyr Strike. Okay. Um, yes. All right, and that triggers on your next attack, right? Uh, so yeah, it's concentration where basically I don't provoke opportunity attacks, but I can use it uh, for one weapon attack, which I'll probably okay. use for this next one. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, quick as a flash, you see this, uh, you know, 
creepy mutton chopped man um, blitz into the fray f- before everyone else. Right. So you are far and away the first one to get to this crate. Yeah. Um, as you, you grab this bow, after a little bit of time as others are starting to like come and climb onto the box to find it, and you like kind of dodge your way around out of people um, and climb up onto the wall. That's awesome. um, horrifying. It's great. <laughs> John, it's your turn. Uh, so I would like to move forward towards the shield. Okay. Uh, do Fairly I find, easy, yeah. So I find it. Yeah. Cool. Can I equip it? Yeah. Be. Um, who is around me? Yeah. Immediately to your right is um, a lemur that like moved so fast, like faster than any lemur has ever moved in the history of wow. ever. He's right next to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are there like more people around me? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there, cool. everyone is moving in toward this, this box. Right? I think actually before I would have like gotten the shield, I would have like moved like forward, wait till like there's a fair number of people around me and then just done sword burst. Actually, oh. hold on. Does that require? No, it's just verbal. So just like, ah, and then like, like purple energy up my legs and then it just like turns into like this compass of opalescent blades just around me just really quick okay um for max effect you could not run to the center okay and you could run to this along the sides okay. to basically pin some other people against you interesting okay um yeah i'd, I'd do that and and what you would also see is Jolly like reach inside his shirt and like grab something and like kind of like crush it a little bit, and then after when he's done, he like and it mm. seems like it's back. Yeah, um, I like that. Just for the artificery of it. Yeah. Uh, so it would be a Dex save on all the people around me. Uh, we'll see. You got four of them Kill. around you. Um, and the three fives. So they all fail. Cool. Um, so there's a Lemur, a Tiefling, um, and an Earth Elemental. Okay. So they all take... Uh, I need you to roll a uh, rule on this dice here. I rolled it. And you can see it, but you can't... It's that one. All right. Two. I gained one extra point. So that's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So the Lemur is immediately eviscerated. Um, yep. You get the sense that they're walking around with a hit point. Um, Sweet. <laughs> and uh, the Tiefling and the, the Earth Elemental, the Earth Elemental obviously takes one. Um, so it is resistant to that type of damage. It's force um, damage. Oh, it's force. Yes, it <laughs> is. That's important. It is force um, damage. Okay, uh, so the, the Tiefling and the, the Earth Elemental both take it. Um, the Tiefling kind of flashes literal fire out of its eyes. Um, okay. Like excited, like, oh, dude, you messed up, dude. Probably. And then the Earth Elemental just, <laughs> just gravel. Uh, and then can I get the shield? Uh, you could leave to go get the shield. Oh, dang. Oh, did I sucker you into something? Mm, oh, no. Nice. Okay. I'm going to kill him. Uh expeditious retreat as a bonus action and I still leave. Okay, very well. And get the shield and I have now a shield and uh, uh, is the shield considered, so as part of my let's see I think it was. I think it's an action to like imbue your armor. Okay. If I remember correctly. Okay, okay, okay. So then uh, I'm just going to leave it as plus one, but I'll just remember the armor class is 12, not 13 right now. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. Very good. Um, it is now the dretches. Um, you see that the three of them are together and they're like holding hands um, <laughs> and, and as they like take off toward the center. Um, and... Hmm. Uh, 19 on the die. Um, you see that Drolax... Um, is going and grabs some sort of staff from the pile um, and begins to like swirl it overhead. Um, and there's a, a flame elemental right by him um, that he is going to cast a second level ice knife at. 
Good. Um, hit. All right, and then it explodes. All right, the Lemur next to the fire elemental is eviscerated as the ice knife explodes. Um, I don't know why I rolled a save against that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and the, the flame elemental like takes that ice knife in the, the chest and it like starts to uh, coalesce a little mm -hmm. bit, um, revealing its, its true form mm -hmm. behind the fire. Um, and it takes a, a good chunk of damage from that. Um, Krolax. Is the is the third dredge a Brolex? I was just no. gonna say. <laughs> you didn't get his name. So you, don't, you don't get black. to know. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> We're canceled. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> no. Man. I'll just do it again. Um, <laughs> stop. Um, you, you see that Prolax uh, reaches into her breast uh, flap and pulls out her card um, and crushes it in her hand um, and nothing happens. <laughs> but like there, there's an air of like, I've got this figured out, right? Um, and you even hear her say, yes, I do believe... <laughs> You'll regret this day. Who? <laughs> she's just like saying this to nobody. Oh, okay. um, she's like, you will regret this. Uh, and nothing happens. Um, and she like looks around, like <laughs> really scared. Um, and she'll just grab whatever and pick up a, a, a little hand axe okay. um, and like prep for people to come after her. Um, the other one um, is going to f trip and fall, um, taking impales themselves on a, a spear. Um, a spear was like propped up on like all the weapons as it was falling out and it like trips and it just like rams itself into the chest and it's just like, oh, brother. <laughs> uh, and it Lex. dies. Um, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and yeah, he's dead. Um, Elon. Okay. Um, so the chest is kind of surrounded at this point. Yeah, I mean, there's not much space between the walls and the chest anyway. Okay, so I guess I'm going to, um, is there anybody specifically around the trident that I saw? Uh, no. Okay, I'm running for it then. Okay, very well. You are able to grab it. Okay. Uh, I... You are immediately in melee with, uh, so I guess there is somebody near it, but they're not going for it, right? Yeah. Um, there's a tiefling that's currently in combat um, with another like earth elemental type. So would he get an opportunity attack if I retreated? <laughs> um, you could also flank this tiefling with the earth elemental. I though. would like to do that. And then does that just give me advantage of mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and just Eldritch Blast him then. So that's a range spell, so you would be oh. at disadvantage. Ah. So you, what, so what it would look like is you could grab the the trident yeah. and like ram it into the tiefling on your that. way out, or I'll try an eldritch blast. I'll do that. I'll do the trident. Um, it's an eighteen to hit unless I add anything. Yeah, for sure it hits. Okay, just a d six. That's three damage. Uh, plus your uh, let's see, is that Dex mod? Sure. We'll call it that. Yes, please. Uh, seven. All right, uh, seven points of damage. As this tiefling uh, takes the, the trident in the back, you sever its spine um, through the middle of its uh, of its like mid back, um, and it like goes limp on on your your trident. Am I able to say something that isn't in my bonus action? Can I like say something as I'm doing this? Yeah. I'm gonna try and recruit the earth elemental, or the <laughs> fire elemental. It's an earth elemental. Okay, earth elemental. Do you like, speak as primordial? A no, but I'm just going to say something in common to see what happens. Okay. Um, I'm just going to stab it and just say, help me and we'll both survive. Uh, give me a persuasion check with disadvantage. Okay. It's at disadvantage anyway, but... That's a 17. And that is a 16. Incredible. Um, you see him hesitate a little bit. Okay. Um, bonus action. I'm commanding the imp. Uh, who else is around me? Um, around you is like another handful of Lemurs. Um, Do I see either of them in combat? You can see that Jolly is kind of near the side. Or Cyril. 
Give me a perception check. Cereal. <gasps> Cereal. Uh, so that is a 14. And that's a 7. Okay. Uh, you don't see Cyril. Okay. So sorry. You said... I... Yeah. So you see Jolly. He's kind of on the side. Um, and you saw... <clears throat> I mean, Wolfgang, before you could even really move, was already above you with a bow. So if anybody attacks me, then I'm going to have the imp um, hold its action to sting. Very well. That's it. Okay. Um, all right. Next is the elementals. Uh, the earth elemental um, is going to try and punch you. Okay. That's fair. Um, 15 to hit. Yes. All right. Uh, but you, it does trigger... Yeah. The imp to attack. So go ahead and roll for that attack. Okay. You take eight points of bludgeoning damage as its stone fist collides square in your chest. Okay, Ooh. that's a 14 to hit. Uh, the hits. Oh, sweet. Okay. So it gets stung. Crap. For four damage. Um, oh, and it must make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. Love that. Love that. Okay. DC 11. Uh, so it's resistant to piercing damage and immune to poison. Ah. Okay. Well, that was useless then. <laughs> uh, but it did take some damage. Yeah, two. One. Right? Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Whopping okay. two. You said uh, eight for me, right? Yes. All right. All right. Another fire oh. elemental. Um takes two Lemur in its hands and just like sets them on fire. Uh, they're resistant um, to fire damage, but it just turns them to ash anyway. Um, and then the earth elemental next to you, Jolly, is gonna take a, a punch at you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sorry, you ran away. Yes. To grab your to, shield. To get the shield. So he's gonna close the distance, take, risking an attack of opportunity from the tiefling. Cool. Uh, the tiefling hits. You with just his bare hand, because he hasn't gotten a weapon yet, um, dealing one point of damage because it's negligible. Um, and then the Earth Elemental is going to go and just try and punch you. I, I dare it to. Oh, I'm wearing no armor. Yeah. So. Uh, nat 20. Oh, this is not good. Uh, oh, no. What kind... I should have done Blade Ward. What kind of damage is it? Bludgeoning. Okay, continue. It's a punch from a rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, I was just thinking. It's not not going to be much else. <laughs> um, that's five points. Oh, on an at twenty. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. They're they're not all built the same. Is this like the mud earth elemental? Just getting slapped with like. Yeah. Ah. Brother, we are like distant cousins. Why are you punching? You don't me? speak primordial. No. No, I don't. Hmm. Uh, I speak common, dwarvish, and gnomish. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, it just... <laughs> or maybe it sounds a little bit like... That's exactly what it sounds yes. like. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, the tiefling is then going to run up behind him again, grabbing a sword from the side of the uh -huh. thing and going to stab at the earth elemental with advantage because it's got flanked with you. Uh, that hits... Um, the sword kind of cuts through, um, and the, the earth elemental just kind of becomes oh, incorporeal and uh, dies. Problem. Jolly's like, oh, good. And then, like, the earth elemental, like, falls away, and the tiefling's like, ah! Yeah, and then you see the tiefling, like, oh, like no. holding the sword, yeah. Um, cool. Um, a tiefling, uh... Oof. It's Okay. Um, yep, something happens. Oh. All right, that brings Four, us I to I felt it. Wolfgang. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I can't do Andre's Mark right now because I'm concentrating on the Zephyr Strike, but I am going to fire an Echro. Uh, what are you looking for? An Elemental, a Tiefling, um, a Lemur? I'm going to see who is... From your vantage point, yes. you can see that Cyril has a sword through his belly from behind. <laughs> Let's fight that person that's fighting Cyril. Okay. Okay. I would like to shoot that person. Uh, let's do... Okay, that's 19 to hit. Hits. Okay, and then let's do... For damage... 
Okay, I got an 11. Yeah, dead. dead. Um, Great. Where uh, are you aiming on this tiefling? Uh, for this tiefling, I was aiming right for like the head. So yeah. I, so yeah. like, so from the side, right? Like you can see that like Cyril's kind of like, uh, um, and the tiefling like has a sword up and he's like trying to lift him up, but like again, this guy's like weirdly heavy. So like the tiefling was trying to like triumphantly like, yeah, I got him, yeah. you know. But he's like, oh what? Like the tiefling, <laughs> what? total surfer, bro. Dude, what? Dude, like, dude, dude. Yeah. why is this dude so heavy, bro? Have I been focusing too much on legs? <laughs> and um, <laughs> couldn't. Couldn't possibly. Couldn't possibly. <laughs> no. Uh, no way. <laughs> As a, an arrow just kind of zips through the, like his temple, like through both temples, he's like, <laughs> bruh. Uh, and falls back as the sword like kind of falls out of Cyril's body and they both collapse to the ground. So I call over to Elon being like, Elon, Cyril, he's, he's spilled. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I like point towards where he is so that okay, it just okay. basically well, yeah. anything else on your turn? Um, that's uh, that's it. Great. Yes. Uh, well, you know what? I'll climb up another fifteen feet just to be safe. Sure. Just to be safe. <laughs> okay. Jolly. Are there any uh, people in between? Me? Well, I guess I have expeditious retreat. Um. Hmm. Is there like a clump of people, like a huge clump of people that maybe Jolly could just be like Thunderwave? Hmm. Not. Uh, give me uh, an Arcana check. Yes. Eight or a seven, and his Arcana is actually uh, plus four, so at eleven. Uh, you remember something about thunder and earth elementals. Oh, yeah, so that would be very smart. Um, and there's two. There's one by Elon and one kind of like in between uh, that elemental and then that tiefling that's, that just killed Cyril. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just killed Cyril. <laughs> well, um, Jolly would be like, those guys had the cards, so I probably want to keep them alive. They were nice. So he'll go over towards, like, the Earth Elemental. I'm assuming they're kind of, like, up against the wall. And, like... So they're in the middle. Oh. You're, you're kind of, like, in between the, the, the box okay. and the wall, right? So, like, uh, I just imagine Elon, like, ah, like and, like, the, the Earth Elemental is about to hit him. And Jolly just comes and, like, pushes Elon and then just, like, like um, stamps the ground and energy goes up his leg up his arm into the shield and then he smacks the shield with his other arm and like you can see like vibrations of energy like specifically like opalescent like mm -hmm. colored energy emanate out in a 15 foot cone great as he casts yeah you can get two ele earth elementals in that cone um and then a lemur and uh, another tiefling cool so the lemur is just like yeah cool uh so that would be a Constitution saving throw. What's your DC? DC is 14. Okay, half if they succeed. Uh, or nothing. Is, I'm like, half is damaged, half, half as much. Okay. So that is eight and five. So 13 and a half if they saved. If they didn't save, they're pushed 10 feet away. Okay, both take 26 points of damage and they are Ooh. turned to dust yes oh, i thought they were like cousins thing they might have been well um the other tiefling takes half um and it's on like death's door uh, -huh. uh the lemur are ev Pulp. evaporated yes yeah uh solid Yes. Very solid. Um, yeah, and then I think like the, the reverberations kind of echo off of the walls, right? Because it like makes a super loud sound that can be heard from like 300 feet or something yeah. like that. Odd thing. Um, so it's like a thunder crack in here um, that like also disturbs the sand where like the sand oh, kind of yeah, just yeah. vibrates out. Um, you have like a whirlpool effect around your That's feet. super cool. Um, and the, they're gone. Do I see like everyone else looking at me like I just painted a big target on my back maybe? Yeah, for sure. <sighs> yep. That's my turn. Um, the dretches um, 
Crolax is going to like with the the axe in her hand, like try and like flatten out the card as her action. <laughs> oh, no. um, and and fails like she like rips the card. Um like it's a magic item but it like tears. Oh. Um and she's like panicking like oh no. <laughs> I forget that it's like an old man. Um, <laughs> what have I done? Um, and she'll just like collapse into a heap and just like start crying. Um, and the other Drolax um, is going to go and try and pick their friend off of the spear. Um, um on a nap one. Yeah. <laughs> they fall on the spear as well. <laughs> oh no, let me see my oh my gosh, what have I done? On the same spear. Maybe my like right when the thunder the thunder wave comes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're like pulling pulling the, the brother dredge off as as the thunder wave goes off and it's like yeah. Um, and the spear like impales him in the chest and he's like I've been mortally wounded um, and is on death's door wow um, Aelon okay so I imagine like cinematically I um, I see Wolfgang like hey Cyril and then I just get <laughs> kind of, or like that happens. Yeah, you get like shoulder checked out yeah, of the way, basically. Sure. So I so I stand up and try to orient myself. Can I see where Sir Sir Sir? Yeah, is I going? mean he literally just carved a clear path through. Alright, so I'm running over to Ciro yet again. I'm gonna try and revive him as my action. Hey friendo. <laughs> how are you doing, buddy? I'm not feeling great. Yeah, uh, I can see that. And how does his wound look? Bad. Mortal. All right. Uh, what can I do to? Can I? Just, it's like a medicine check just to see if I can. So, is this in his chest? You said. Yeah. Um, and I have limited bandages. I have zero. Bandages. You have no bandages. You have some weapons. I'm gonna cauterize his wound. I'm gonna try. How? Press the digitation to heat the metal. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, you do so. Um, and he was semi-conscious uh he's making death saves right uh yeah. you know for flavor say he was yeah. communicating a little bit sure. um unconscious immediately fails a death save okay um and uh he's going out Can you I can make, make a medicine, medicine check? check straight uh-huh dirty 20 he's <laughs> almost a one zero's never gonna die <laughs> okay um i have a Offer. Okay. Um, see if this changes your decision. Tell me. Um, you can sever your tie and successfully save Cyril if you instead choose to bind to him over the imp. Ooh, uh, real Sophie's choice over here, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> it's a Cyril's choice. Cyril's choice. <laughs> What kind of cereal do you want? Raisin bran? Oh, I choose I choose to save cereal. Okay. Yeah, you do. It, it oh, I like, love this. It like there's a part of my brain that thinks about the power and stuff, but then it like ultimately comes back and I'm like, you know, I'd rather him survive. I can always re recruit. So I so I unbond the the imp. Oh great. <laughs> That was a cereal's choice. No, the, that didn't work. I was trying to say serious choice. Man, it must have been really hard letting go of that imp. It seemed impractical. <laughs> it was also you very impressive. Or important. Impressive. Important <laughs> to you. But don't ask us, we're impartial. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. Um, okay, very well. You stabilize Cyril yet again. <laughs> okay, oh, now I just stand ready, like with my trident. <laughs> All right, very well. Um, 
there's only one fire elemental left there. Like this battle is ending very quickly, uh -huh. right? Um, the fire elemental is going to um, basically burn itself up. Um, it's going to run into the center of the, the box um, where you are. Uh, you have left um, and there's um, another tiefling and one last earth elemental on the opposite end. Um, and it's basically going to turn itself into a bomb. Mm. Ooh. Um, so I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I'm very good at dex. <laughs> I'm a giant rock. Is that saving throws? Saving throw straight. Yes! <laughs> that was a 15. Oh, wow. Just a 15. Okay. Yeah. You add nothing, huh? Nope. Loud and proud. Kay. You take half of 12. Uh, ooh, so oh, six? Six. <gasps> oh, my gosh. How you looking? I'm barely standing. Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, so barely. this fire elemental just like in perfect common says, a death is worth an extra life in hell. And then it erupts into a ball of flame. I mean, that's magic. Um, and the, the other tiefling is is blasted. It takes half damage, but still like is killed. Um, the earth elemental just kind of is a rock and just like takes the hit and like corrects itself. Um, so all that remains is Cyril, Elon, uh, two Lamor, an earth elemental, Wolfgang, and Jolly. So an earth elemental, so the ones that aren't us is, a, is an earth, earth elemental, elemental and two Lamore. Mm -hmm. Well, I would love to shoot at one of, uh, wait, whose turn is it? I don't know whose turn um, it is. It is, it was Cyril's, um, and now it is Wolfgang. Oh, great. I would like to uh, to shoot uh, at one of the Lamore. Very yes. well. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. It's a 24 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the AC is actually 30. So. Oh. <laughs> uh, this was the boss. Point, you, you, don't, you don't need to roll damage. You cannot hit less than one. Great. Great. So that one is just like pinned to the ground <laughs> from an arrow. You have one arrow left. Great, oh, one arrow left. Oh, it's man. like you just pinned I wish I had another yeah. attack. An arrow. But, um, if, if you were close enough, you would hear, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I guess uh, that, that's my turn because I want to keep uh, my concentrate spell. So. Okay, you're going to stay up high? Up yeah, high? yeah, stay in there. You're going to go any higher? Do you know what? Another 15 feet. Throw it okay. on there. So 45, 45 feet, up. feet up? Yeah. Very well. All righty. That uh, could be bad. Jolly. Uh, Jolly will look at the Earth Elemental. Uh, how far away is he? Uh, you could, like, uh, 10 feet. Okay. I will back up five feet and then cast Lightning Lure on the Earth Elemental, uh, which must succeed on a strength saving throw. So that mm. was a good choice on my part. It's only a plus five to this. It's not like... Yeah, whatever. Well, it's a 10. Ah, oh, yes. So it moves 10 feet towards me uh, and then takes 1d8 lightning damage. And that's a four. Okay, takes four damage. Um, it's it's obviously got heavy, heavy cracking. Um, this one's by far the sturdiest of the Earth Elementals. I would also cast Blade Ward as a bonus action using one of my bracelet traits. Okay, very well. Um, okay, it is now his turn. Now in range with you, uh, yeah. he's going to punch you. Yeah, he's going to kick you. That's why I did. Uh, does an 18 hit? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Halved because of Blade Ward. Yep. So three. Three. Just enough to put me down, though. Mm. So you see Jolly like, I can take. Wait, he wouldn't say that. He'd be like, Oh no! <laughs> and then just like, like slide in the sand. Yeah. Um, I like to think like narratively, it does send you flying a bit, right? Mm -hmm. um, this earth elemental moves with the grace of a monk, uh, mm -hmm. where it sweeps the legs, and as you're coming down, it comes around and just like kicks you under the ribs, uh, mm -hmm. launching you a good ten feet wow. um, away, Oof. and it like takes a monk stance and then just goes back to 
standing stock still like a, a, a rock should. Um, that is Wolfgang. Back to you. Wait, did I skip you, Alon? Yes. Yes, yes I did. Um, your turn. So, feeling a renewed loyalty just after, you know, making like a choice to save Cyril, I see that happen. And I turn around and just like get feel filled with this pride of like friendship and just like <laughs> and, friendship. and so I friendship was the chain all along. That's right. So I it was the boom. I use my Eldritch Blast against the, the elemental. Okay. Um. Okay. Nineteen, yeah. Okay. Twenty six to hit. What does your Eldritch Blast look like? Um. So I just kind of hold my hands up like this and just kind of like summon this power maybe from like my part of my breath or something and just throw it. I like that. Um, there's not a lot of water here, right? Yeah. It's a very dry place, um, but your breath always has a little bit of condensation to it. Um, and that condensation kind of converges into a little bit of a cloud that you can like kind of compress into a droplet of water that is then imbued with like this eldritch magic as you release it like this this small bead of water the precious life water that becomes violent mm. um as it careens toward this earth elemental go ahead and roll damage okay Get Get me. eight um yeah it uh, punches a hole where like a normal creature's heart would be um, as the, the rock kind of is a clean cut, kind of like a water drill, right? Um, just a perfectly clean hole through it as it the the blast hits the, the wall beyond it um, and then is scattered. Um, the earth elemental kind of just falls apart into sand. Um, you can either dispatch the Lemures or let them... <clears throat> <laughs> They're kind of funny. I'll let him live. Okay. Um, Cyril is unconscious. Um, he's stable. Like, he's not actively dying, um, but is not doing well. Um, yeah. I'm and just going to monitor him. Gong goes off again. Do, am I still making death saves? or like? Oh, I yeah. need you to make a death save, and that will be over here in private. Away from the rest of the table. Huh. So. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know. So, <laughs> continue. Okay. Um, roll right. ten. Wolfgang. So, so you for, hear the gong. For audio listeners, I just rolled a, uh, a death saving throw. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, so... In secret. Uh, is anyone else up? Who else is up? Uh, it's right now, you and Elon are the ones that are, are left. Um, oh. And, and it, the gong... I mean, it, the gong rings five times. Um, there's okay. the three of you and two Lemur. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, the three of us and two Lemur still? Mm -hmm. so. Oh, I'm going to shoot a Lemur, because uh, I feel like that's probably where I can do the most. You have, this is your last arrow. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot one of the little more. Okay. Um, so let's go crazy. Okay, and to hit, <laughs> yeah, twenty six. Yeah, dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is is okay. Cyril counted in those five? You don't know. So I'm going to I'm, I'm going I'm to use uh, my thirty five feet of movement. And I'm going. I'm forty five feet up. I'm going to go down to 10 feet up because okay. I'm rushing because I'm like, okay, maybe I won't be able to make it this turn or this time, but maybe next time I could go help him, you know, depending. Very well. Joe. That's the thing. Um... <laughs> okay. Um, Elon. Um, so I run over to Jolly and um, attempt to stabilize him. So, like, it, I just see like a crushed something. Yeah. I mean, like his ribs are like caved in, basically. He just took a heavy That's blow. Flail chest. Yeah. On. Okay. Uh, make a medicine check to try and stabilize him. Twelve. 
Um, you're not confident that it worked, but it could have. Okay. Um, the gong rings four times. Oh, I guess he just shot a little more. Was that my action? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then that's it on my turn. Okay. Uh, Wolfgang. Okay. Uh, how far away am I from Jolly? Uh, you're probably 40 feet. If you come down the next 10 and then another 30 feet um, across the whole pit. Okay. I'm out of arrows. Mm -hmm. You could throw one of your scalpels. Okay. But it takes an action to stabilize. It does. It does take an action. Okay. This yeah. kind of sucks. Oh, man. How do you feel about retconning? Not retconning, but rather doing something that wasn't necessary. So basically my Zephyr thing, if I let it go, uh, basically if I had expended the extra damage with that last little more, mm -hmm. then, the, then the time that I do that, I'm allowed to move an extra 30 feet, I believe. I didn't yeah. Could yeah, I have done that, that last turn? Sure. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so you're effectively like 15 feet from Jolly. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just make sure that that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm 15 feet, so I go up to Jolly. Okay. And I, uh, and then I, a medicine check? Yeah. Oh, buddy, at disadvantage, huh? I totally forgot that Krolax oh. is still kicking around. Oh, yeah. Crying I in the I also didn't the box. disadvantage last time. So for yeah, medicine for check? Medicine. Oh. Can we roll that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got an 11 now. Oh. It's higher. Okay. So I got a 10 and a, uh, an 11, so a 10. Okay. Um, same thing. You're not convinced that it yeah. really took hold. Um, and you hear a voice similar. You guys ready to blow this popsicle stand? Do I hear it too? Yeah. It, all in your heads. Just jolly. He's unconscious. No. No. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, yes, yes, please. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> Um, Krolax kind of perks up. Can I throw my trident at Krolax? <laughs> <laughs> Not that guy. Kind of, kind of still upset. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Krolax. <laughs> You're saying sorry to a demon. All right, can I do Eldritch Blast instead? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just keep that same roll. So that's 13 to hit. It hits. All right. No one's walking around in armor around here, you know? It's only two damage. Time. Okay. So just um, like, I, I don't have as much Do you have, like, any, like, repelling blast or anything like that? No. No? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, like, hits her in the face and just, like, oh, you bastard. <laughs> I forgot she's a girl. Okay. okay. Um, Jolly, I need one last... Well, maybe one last. Oh, wait, what was I doing? I should have <laughs> tried to save him again. I, had to... <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Um, a zipper on the side of the pit shows up um, as a man in a uh, brown hat kind of peeks his head through. Um, and he says, I don't much like hell. Care to join me? I can only take three. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Including <laughs> Cyril? Uh, three alive? Or three conscious? That's an interesting question. You know, the, the you know, when does a, a person stop becoming a creature? When are they just simply an item? And so since it's up for debate, we could potentially just take these bodies that are... If you're willing to roll the dice on uh, Arcanum and that theory thereof, be my guest, pal, but clock's ticking. All right. Okay, I, I grabbed the Ollie. Pit I grabbed the roars. <laughs> um, <laughs> as uh, it begins, like, flying at full speed yeah. toward you guys. Yeah, so... You have one action. Um, Grab zero full sprint. <laughs> Uh, I grab Jolly uh, and What do you weigh, Jolly? Run. Uh, well, Jolly normally would be pretty heavy. I would say lost all his weight, probably 200 pounds. Can we firemen carry both of them together? 
Like, we... give me athletic checks. Okay. What if, what if... Wait, let me check which one's higher. Is this the end of Jolly? <laughs> Alright, all right. athletics is fine. <laughs> At disadvantage? Uh, disadvantage. Yes. Alright, that's a 10. That was a really good roll. Ooh. That's an 8. No. Total? Eight. Yeah. Oh no, four. <laughs> oh, the first no. roll was so good. Um, you both start to slip, um, trying to grab like you're sweating, right? Um, you didn't have much water to lose and you have lost it. This is the first real activity physical um, that you have done since you've been in the hells. How and far this away was are we? about 15 feet. Oh. So you could move at half speed, risking an attack from the pit fiend. I'm fine with that. Me too. <laughs> You sure about that? Are you sure about that? Yeah, we probably shouldn't. I'm like, you know, I'd say, hey, this is what I'm doing. Okay. Are you sure about that? What's Krolax doing? Uh, Krolax is like standing up um, and she like turns to see the pit fiend coming down. Um, what will Krolax do? Because kind of depending on what she does, I may, I don't know, alter my decision. Um, Krolax is going to eat her card. <laughs> what? Um, and she explodes in a, uh, <laughs> a, a just a, a bomb of ice, basically. Oh. Um, okay. as the pit fiend kind of flies down, the ice, it kind of ruptures toward it. Um, wow, Krolax was a homie. It, uh, makes it save by a million um taking absolutely no damage um but but the pit fiend is like kind of you know back a little bit um buying you one last attempt okay, okay. athletics again athletics yep. That's That's what what I need to disadvantage okay there's an 18 That's 18 <laughs> that's an eight from me and double 18 the six so six he got an 18 the average six. yeah i think that's okay, that's fine again you are the healthier of the two um being here the shortest amount of time um and you you have cyril and you have jolly and you walk through this zipper in time and space um as he uh closes it behind you he says the name's gino calamenti it's nice to make your acquaintance. Gino, thank you so much. And, and we're going to end the session there. Yeah. We don't even get to know if no. Jolly died. No. Uh-uh. This has been Packed and Boon. Um, an actual play. D&D 5e uh, show. I am Jake Packham. I'm Justin Lewis. I'm Caden Otley. And I'm Tanner Wayland. And we hope you guys go out and have some fun. Kill your friends. Kill some dretches. Do Have do a good time. Do. See you next time. Get with the devil. Oh. Bye. love these podcast episodes but aren't always able to listen to them do you learn better reading information rather than listening to it here's what you can do go to session zero studios.com slash newsletter sign up for our weekly newsletter you'll get tips and tricks sent directly to your inbox in written format that you can read and reference whenever you want you'll get tips that we don't share on the podcast and bonus techniques that frankly no one has ever heard before again session zero studios.com slash newsletter and uh, get those free tips and techniques right to your inbox every week.